So guys, it is spring. It is early spring, but it is spring. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and the pike are moving towards the shallows. But at the moment, not in big numbers. Most of the fish we find, we find them close to the shallows, on the drop-off, but not really on those like one to two meter spots. And if you don't want to target the fish on those deeper areas, generally people are using soft baits. Baits like the goby shad or the river roach. But on high pressure water, those fish are usually used to soft bait presentations. And on the shallows people use jerk baits, but there is an alternative if you want to catch them a bit deeper. And that is the new Gravity Twitch from Savage Gear. Savage Gear is launching the 14 and a half centimeter version and also the 11 and a half centimeter version of the Gravity Twitch. And today, we are gonna fish on the shallows or close to the shallows using the 11.5 centimeter Gravity Twitch and the 14 and a half centimeter Gravity Twitch. We are gonna fish it on both spinning gear and bait casting gear. I'm mainly gonna use Savage Gear Power Game. You could use the 80 gram version of the Power Game as well. I like to have a bit more stiffness in the rod, uh, be able to twitch it a bit more easily because it's a twitch bait and you wanna have that twitching action. 250 bait caster on it. But if you are gonna go for spinning gear, this is my setup for today. Again, fluorocarbon carbon trace, silencer braid and an SG8 4000 model, but you could do it with a 2500 model, depending on how thick your line uh, is that you're gonna use. I am using 0.19 on this spinning setup, and on the bait caster I'm using 0.32. We're gonna dive a bit deeper into how you're gonna fish the gravity twitch. So, without further ado, let's hit the lake and catch a couple of pike on the gravity twitch. take on the uh, gravity twitch on the fire tiger it smacked it close to the boat but unfortunately it came off I'm gonna head out towards the next spot to see if we can find some fish on the drop-off what I try to do with the gravity twitch I'm using the 14 and a half centimeter version now I try to fish it quite erratic the cool thing about the gravity twitch is that it's suspending slightly going upwards towards the surface and I fish it in quite a fast pace and then I do long spin stops using 0.32 science braid. Got one millimeter through carbon tied to it directly directly on my main line with an FG knot and just a basic through carbon knot no sleeves no swivels no snaps nothing really clean presentation I'm using the pie collar gravity twitch at the moment and as mentioned before I'm fishing it in an erratic way trying to get some depth fast retrieve pulse fast retrieve pulse I like to use the gravity twitch in a variety of situations and one of the best ways to fish it in my opinion is to fish it close to the drop-off we have like shallow spots for like a meter deep and then it goes down gradually towards three three and a half meters on that drop-off that's where the gravity twitch excels especially the bigger versions when fish are not on the shallows and close or on the drop off, a bait that is able to run around 2 meters or deeper can be a great tool. Twitch baits are so versatile because they dive when you speed them up and they will rise once you pause them, allowing you to fish them close to the contours of the drop off and once you hit the bottom, pause a little, wait for the bait to rise and continue your retrieve. You can either cast on the edge of the shallows and start your retrieve and pause every once in a while while working the gravity twitch towards the boat or you could also work it above deeper water, especially on clear water. Those regular pauses could lure the fish to start their attack from the deeper water. Either way, strikes on Twitch baits are generally super hard and thus a lot of fun. The smaller one goes slightly less deeper. 
and thus it's more suitable to fish on the shallows. And especially now we are like in early spring, there's hardly any vegetation at the moment. So it's really nice to fish them against the edge of the drop off and the pike at the moment are slowly moving towards that shallow area. And especially on high pressure lakes, bait like the gravity twitch can make a difference because Everybody's using jerk baits or soft baits or baits that go with a steady retrieve, spinner baits maybe, although I like to use spinner baits when there is a lot of vegetation and that is certainly not the case early March. So if you want to use something that's different, the pike are not really used to, try doing some twitch baits. are in a bit of a gnarly position so I need to get her back quickly and unhook her before she uh, takes my hand as well. <laughs> Let's get another one. Still covered in leeches by the way. Look at this. This one certainly hasn't spawned yet. Leeches on it. Well there are some markings on the belly. <laughs> Say bye to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. So for shallow water fishing, jerk baits or soft baits, the shallow school are ideal. But when it gets deeper than, let's say, one and a half, two meters, the gravity twitch is perfect to fish those situations where the fish are a bit deeper and not on the shallows yet. Ideally, I would use the gravity twitch in either close to the drop offs. Where you are able to get it at around two meters of depth and especially when it's cold one of the strengths of the gravity twitch is that you can pause it and then it will have still and slowly rise towards the surface depending on how heavy your leader is if you start using something like uh, heavy titanium 100 pound titanium you probably have the gravity twitch suspending if you're using fluorocarbon carbon like i'm doing it slowly rises towards the surface Keeping that in mind also allows you to play with the gravity twitch and vary in the depth that it's presented. Now switch to the fire tiger. Well, there's a bit more murky here than on the other spots. I'm fishing it quite erratic, so I'm speeding it up like this, pausing it, speeding it up, pausing it. Especially with colder temperatures like we have now, where it's just six degrees, it makes it an easy target for pike when gravity twitch is suspended like this and often especially during cool times that's the moment when the strike comes if you work it a bit harder it goes deeper hit the bottom a couple times just pause it and then with fluid carbon you will see the gravity twitch slowly rise and then you can compensate so you can fish it like half a meter less deep if you want to another thing that helps is put your rod tip up high and then it will run much much more shallow if you go downwards with your rod tip Obviously, the bait goes deep. So, for shallow water fishing, jerk baits or soft baits with a shallow screw are ideal. But when it gets deeper than, let's say, one and a half, two meters, the gravity twitch is perfect to fish those situations where the fish are a bit deeper and not on the shallows yet. And especially when it's cold, one of the strengths of the gravity twitch is that you can pause it and then it will hang still and slowly rise towards the surface, depending on how heavy your leader is. If you start using something like uh, heavy titanium, 100 pound titanium, you probably have the gravity twitch suspending using fluid carbon like I'm doing, it slowly rises towards the surface. And keeping that in mind also allows you to play with the gravity twitch and vary in the depth that it's presented. I'm also looking forward to using the gravity twitch on the big Swedish lakes where we fish out open on the stones, situations between two and four meters deep, clear water especially with the, uh, the flashy silvery colors that Savage Gear has. It should be an excellent bait of warm, 
sunny conditions like these with hardly any winds. Fish them on the stones, hit them for a couple of times, let it rise and start to retrieve again. And those pauses will be deadly over there in the cold Swedish water. The launch of the smaller gravity twitch, we refer to a technique that was called backhand twitching. You would use your wrist to slap the motion into the bay. Now with a 8.3 centimeter gravity twitch or with a 9.5 centimeter gravity twitch, the bait doesn't move that much water and thus you don't need a heavy rope to do so. But if you start using a 14.5 centimeter gravity twitch, it's going to be brutal on your wrist. So I would recommend keeping both hands on the rod and just jerk it. So here you have it, the gravity twitch, 14 and a half centimeter and the 11 and a half centimeter, weighing 50 grams and 25 grams. Both shallow runners, available April 2022. Now, obviously, Savage Gear is launching the gravity twitch in a variety of cool colors as you're used to Savage Gear. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the Savage Gear YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.